Hi dear kids. This is Krishna, right? Your mathematics teacher. Okay. So we have been learned about different properties of our numbers in the last introduction video. Correct? So as we are supposed to go with the first chapter, that is the rational numbers. Okay, I have been telling you people different different properties. Like a commutative property, associative property, distributive property, closure property, and all. These are all the properties you have been learned. So by using that all the properties, today we need to go for exercise. That is exercise number 1.1. Here it is a given main question that using appropriate properties, find this. What is this? It is a one equation. Okay, its value we have to find it. Normally by making a multiplication, addition and subtraction we can do it. Okay, as you know already the fractions in your lower class, correct? So, now we can do it normally by using that all fractions properties. But, here it is being given that using, you have to have in depth about the different different properties now. We have to use it and you have to solve this problem. Here the conditions are given. Okay, so by using that we have to find out means look into the problem first. What is the given problem here? It is minus 2 by 3 into 3 by 5 plus 5 by 2 minus 3 by 5 into 1 by 6. It is a given problem. Correct? Eh? So we have to solve this. When I look into the problem, here I see a sum of a common things. That is 3 by 5 and 3 by 5. Correct? Eh? So if I see that 3 by 5 is over here, so I am remembering one of the problem. That is, which one? Commutative property. Okay? So that is the reason what I do in the first step. Eh? Minus 2 by 3, I will write as it is, into 3 by 5. Okay, then I am not going to write this plus 5 by 2. Okay, I am going to skip it out and I am going to write minus 3 by 5 into 1 by 6. Then again I am going to write this plus 5 by 2, this side, plus 5 divided by 2. Okay, so children, next year, here in these two group we have 3 by 5 common. So I am going to take it as a 3 by 5 as a common. Again, if I see, there I got a minus also common. So I am taking minus 3 by 5 outside. When I take a minus 3 by 5 outside, I remain with 2 by 3. Okay. So that next, I am going to see over here. Here what I have been taken out? 3 by 5. This has come out. Okay. This 3 by 5 is also outside. Okay. So then next, I need to get over here in this 1 by 6 inside, correct? So that is plus 1 by 6. Okay. Why I taken a plus? Minus into plus will be the minus. Okay. So then I am going to close this and I am going to write this one. 5 divided by 2. Okay. So then next, what is inside the bracket that I need to do first, correct? So then minus 3 by 5 as it is. Okay. Inside the bracket, I have got a different denominator that is 3 and 6. LCM of 3 and 6, as you know that it is a 6. Okay. So then next again, 3 how much are? 3 2s are. 2 2s are how much? 4. Okay. 6 how much are? 1s are. So it is a 1 1s are how much? Plus 1. Okay. Then next year, plus 5 by 2 as it is. Okay. So the next step here, minus 3 by 5. Okay. Then next year, 4 plus 1, 5. 5 divided by 6. Okay. Then plus 5 by 2. Okay. So the next year, here I have to take out the next step. That is equals minus 3 by 5. This bracket says us it is a into. Okay. Into 5 divided by 6. Okay. That next step plus 5 by 2. Here. 5 5 gets cancelled. Here I have multiplication symbol I can write. So the next step. 3 1s are 3 2s are. Correct now. So then I will remain with a minus 1 divided by 2. Why? Because 1 into 1 is a 1. Here, nothing is there. Which 1 will be there? 1 into 2 is a 2. Plus, remaining is 5 divided by 2. Okay. So, then next. Here, I got a same denominator. Then, it is a like fraction. So, I am going to write it once. That is, next minus 1 plus 5. Why? Because denominator same means it is be multiplying with the only 1. Okay. So, minus 1 plus 5 is 4 divided by 2. So, 2 1s are 2 2s are. At the end, how much I got children? 2. The value of this by using a property, we have got it as a 2. But here we are not at all mentioned anything, right? Here we have to mention which property we have been used? Commutative property. We have to write it whenever we are doing. Commutative property. 
Okay. Then next, what we have been used over here? Here we have been used distributive property. Distributive property. Okay. Like this, it is to be mentioned. Okay. By using properties only, we have done this. Okay, children. Yeah, dear kids. We go for the second question now. If the question is the same, question is going to apply for them. Using appropriate properties, we have to find out. What is this? 2 by 5 into minus 3 by 7, minus 1 by 6 into 3 by 2, plus 1 by 14 into 2 by 5. So we have to check, it, check into it. Here is a multiplication symbol. Here also multiplication symbol. Here also multiplication in between these two terms. Correct? So that we can rearrange it. Check it out. So I write the first one as it is 2 by 5 into minus 3 by 7. Okay. This I am going to take this side. This one I am going to take this side. Why? Because here I am getting a common term. That is a 2 by 5. Okay. So that is plus 1 by 14 into 2 by 5. Okay. This side I am taking one more this side. Okay. Minus 1 by 6 into 3 by 2. Okay children. So now what we have done? We have been used which property over here? We have been used commutative property. Commutative property. Okay, as you already learnt about the commutative property, right? We multiply or add in whichever manner. A into B is equal to B into A. In that way, we have been rearranged. Okay, why I rearrange like this? I am getting a common term. That is a 2 by 5. Correct now? So if a 2 by 5 is common, then again we remember one more property. What is that? Distributive property. According to that, I am taking a 2 by 5 as a common. Okay, if I take 2 by 5 common in these two terms, what I remain with? I remain with a 3 by 7. Huh? Then here 2 by 5 is taken as a common mix. I remain with a plus 1 by 14. I am going to close my bracket over here. I take a common only between these two. This is as it is. Okay. That is minus 1 by 6 into 3 by 2. Okay. So the next, children, what is there inside the bracket? That is to be done first. So the next, 2 divided by 5. 7 and 14. What is the same of 7 and 14? As you know, you need to do very fast. 7 and 14. You are getting a 14 as a 10 cm. Why? Because 7 and 7, 7 to the 14. Okay. So as I have got a 7 over here, I need to multiply this one to get a 14 with 2. It will be multiplied. 7 to the 14 means same 2 is to be multiplied here. So minus 3 into 2. Minus 6. Okay. Then next, so 14 is here. So it is to be multiplied with a 1. So plus 1. Okay, then next year, minus 1 by 6 into 3 by 2 as it is. So the next year, 2 divided by 5, here minus 6 plus 1, I am going to get it as a minus 5 divided by 14. Okay, so the next remaining terms need to be written as it is, minus 1 by 6 into 3 divided by 2. Okay, so now check it out here, 5 ones are. 5 1s are, but minus is remained here. Okay, remember that. 2 1s are, 2 7s are. Okay, so then at the end, what I am going to remain? Shall I write this side? So I am going to write this side. Okay, so 1 into minus 1 is a minus 1. Then next, 1 into 7 is 7. Okay, next, what is been remained here? 1 by 6 into 3 by 2. Here also I can call what the red is right. 3 1s are, 3 2s are. Okay, so what I am going to remain here? Minus is that. So minus into, minus 1 into 1. That is minus 1. Okay, that next term, 2 2 are. How much? 4. Okay, children. So the next term, I have been remained here with a minus uh, so 1 by 7 and minus 1 by 4. Now I got a unlike fractions here. So then what is the same of 7 and 4? Is 7 is an odd number? 4 is a even number, both is to be multiplied. 7 goes up. 7 and 4 is to be taken here, and then here it is to be done. 2, 7 is not coming as it is, 2 2's are, then next. 2 tables again, 7 as it is, 2 1's are, then next. 7 is one of the odd number and the prime number, so we have to take with the 7 1's and 1's. So that is to be multiplied so 2 into 2 into 7, so that I am getting it as a 2 to the 4, 4 into 7. 7 4's are 28. Okay, so now what is the LCM of this? 28 is the LCM. So then next 7 omega, 7 4 Then 4 omega, 4 7 It is 
just a cross multiplication, right? So minus 1 into 4 is minus 4. Then next, minus 1 into 7 is minus 7. So what I get? Minus 4 and minus 7. That is a minus 11 divided by 28. What is the answer till then? Minus 11 divided by 28. Okay. Now we have dealt with only two problems, right? So that we have many problems like this. Okay, children. Have you understood this complete concept? You are mentioning of this community property, distributive property. It is must. See, here I not mentioned. It is to be mentioned like this. Distributive property. Distributive property. Okay, like this you need to mention children. If it is not mentioned, your marks will be cut out. Okay. So, if you have any doubt with these two problems, you can ask me. Okay, children. Okay. Then the next, we do the different type of problems with the next main in the next video. Okay, children. Bye-bye.